Well, good morning, People's Church, Newton Abbey. It's Pastor McKim here with the Wee Weekly Update. Yes, and it's a special update because it's December. Believe it or not, we're in December already. Amen? And it's a run up to Christmas. And we're looking forward to a Christ-centered Christmas. Amen? But trust the Lord's been blessing you this week, this past week. And if you're from another assembly, we pray that the Lord's been blessing you and your fellowship as always because we pray for one another in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, we had a brilliant week. Last Lord's Day again was special to us here in the sanctuary here. Yes, last Lord's Day morning, we worshiped the Lord to get lovely time of worship, remembrance with the communion. And the Lord gave me a word, never, never, never quit now, we've heard the never, nevers before, but never, never, never quit. But keep on going on with Jesus. And we thank the Lord for those who responded at the end of the service. And we say to God be the glory. And then last Lord's Day night, online, Pastor John with the online gospel service, again, new with tags. If any man or woman be in Christ, they're a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. New with tags. The new tag is we're born again of the Spirit of God and we're following in the footsteps of Jesus. So praise the Lord. What a Lord's day we had. And I want to thank you for those who came to the sanctuary and those who tuned in online. I want to thank you also for tuning in on Monday night with the call to prayer. Again, brother and sister, we value your prayers. Your prayers are special because God answers prayer. And we have seen answers to prayer this week again. We have again, praise be to God. It's been brilliant, honestly. People have got the all clear from the doctor's reports. People have got word for operations. People have got breakthroughs in their families. It's been brilliant. And listen, God's good. And then on Wednesday night, we had the Bible study here in the sanctuary. And despite all the sickness that's around, praise God for the wonderful turnout on Wednesday night. And brothers and sisters, Wednesday night it was a simple message from Pastor John. Don't get distracted. It was a warning. It was a warning. Don't get distracted distracted and if ever you could get distracted it's always in the Christmas season because there's so many things happening and there's so much crisis and pressures on families and moms and dads as well so don't get distracted keep your eyes on Jesus don't forget Christ is the center of Christmas that's what it's supposed to be amen Praise the Lord. And we praise the Lord, not only that, but on Wednesday morning, Pastor John answered a phone call. And it was Liz Foster's brother, John. And he had the joy of leading Liz's brother to the Lord Jesus on Wednesday morning. So it was a brilliant day. We had a wonderful, the, the angels in heaven were rejoicing in the morning over one sinner repenting. And the saints were rejoicing with them on Wednesday night when they heard the news at the Bible study. And Liz Foster's over the moon about her brothers. Brilliant. And listen, brothers and sisters, hopefully sooner rather than later, it'll be your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad or your son or your daughter. Amen. So praise the Lord. What a week. We've had a brilliant week. And then we're looking to the Lord's Day. And the Lord's Day, by the way, this Lord's Day, this Sunday is Missionary Sunday. Yes, it's the first Sunday of the month. And we always try to give something towards the missions. And by the way, we've sent out about 12 gifts to uh, about approximately 12 missions that we support home and, and, and abroad as well. So if you'd like to help us bring something extra with you for the missionary gift on Sunday morning. Amen. And we're looking forward to the Lord's Day because we're looking forward to coming to worship the King to gather in his presence among his people. Yes, and we're going to remember the Lord as always. Don't forget to bring your own emblems for communion. And then we're going to hear from the Lord. And again, I have a message for this Lord's Day for you and your family. And if you don't go to church or maybe you haven't been to church for years, I want to personally invite you to come to the People's Church, Newton Abbey, this Lord's Day, 
10.30 in the morning. Don't forget, if you need us, we're only a phone call away. And we're in the office Monday to Friday, 9 to 1. If you need us, phone in. We'll pray with you over the phone. Or come in and we'll pray with you in the office. But we're here and we're your servants for Jesus' sake. We are. But we'll love you in the Lord. And we'll see you on Lord's Day, 10.30, here in the sanctuary. And if you can't make the sanctuary, we'll see you online. Because there's people who watch every week speaking to some of them during the week. They, they watch every service online because they can't get out. And you know something? We're th they're thanking God for the online services because it's a lifeline for those brothers and sisters who can't get out. May the Lord bless you and may he encourage you as you watch from a distance. But I pray that you'll sense the presence of the Lord in your home. In the name of Jesus. So come on, let's look forward to the Lord's Day. We've had a great week, but we're going to have an even better Lord's Day in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. See you on Sunday morning, either here in the sanctuary or online. Keep on going on with Jesus. Follow in his footsteps and have a Christ-centered Christmas. You and your family. God bless you.